the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 309 John 7-8 Jesus and the Festival of Tanj Jesus' wise answer to those who rebuked him for embracing sinners was enough to embarrass the questioners. First point, Jesus' brothers told Jesus to show them a sign that he was the Messiah when Jesus went to Jerusalem. St. John recorded Jesus during the Feast of Tabernacles in a Kingdom of Priests. The three annual festivals were established so that the people could come closer to God. Moreover, these festivals came to symbolize political gatherings. God through Moses commanded the people not to come empty-handed, and this was for them to show great fleas towards God for what they received. The festivals were designed to bring forth efforts and materials to God. This also involved living in temporary shelters for seven days in order to remember the days they had lived in tents in the desert. When the people of South Judah returned after 70 years in Babylon after captivity, they observed this festival. Prophet Zechariah also predicted how Christ would restore the festival. Later on, Ezra and Nehemiah also observed the festival with the people. Once the reconstruction of the Jerusalem walls was completed, all the people gathered for seven days to learn about the laws. The returned captives came to observe the festival after learning about the law. Second point, Jesus changed the 1,500-year tradition of a kingdom of priests to the river of life. Jesus, who came to fulfill the laws and the prophets, renewed all the annual festivals of a kingdom of priests through his cross. Jesus first kept the festival and then became the Lord of them. Jesus also changed the 1,500-year tradition of a Passover to Holy Communion during the Last Supper. Furthermore, after he ascended into heaven, Jesus poured the Holy Spirit to the people who gathered in Mark's attic, and this changed the temple into the church. As such, Jesus changed the old customs into new ones based on the church. Jesus taught that he was the living water. Jesus resurrected and saved the sinners, and he lives in us today. Third point, St. John recorded that there are many debates about Jesus during the time. During Jesus' time, there are debates surrounding whether Jesus was the Messiah or not. There are some who believed that Jesus was the Messiah after seeing his miracles. And there were oppositely those who stated that the Messiah could not be from Galilee. The main group who declared that Jesus was not the Messiah was the high priestess. Through the temple Herod constructed for them, they were enjoying a lavish lifestyle as prestigious religious leaders, and so they felt threatened by Jesus' presence. In fact, they did not want any Messiah to come. They were far more interested in sustaining their prestige. Despite this, there was nothing they could do to Jesus immediately. There were a few among the Sanhedrin assembly, such as Joseph of Arimathea, who buried Jesus, who was one of a few good men. On one occasion, the high priests and the Pharisees commanded to arrest Jesus. However, when the men who were sent to arrest Jesus went to find him, they heard Jesus teach and became completely overtaken by his words, and so could not arrest him. 
This shows that even between the Pharisees, there was divided opinion about Jesus. It is such a shame that the high priests and Pharisees who rejected Jesus were unable to see the truth. First point, Jesus wrought on the ground in order to calm the people who were waiting to stone the adulterous woman. One day, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees came to attack Jesus again, and this time they brought a woman who committed adultery. The law that the Pharisees pointed out was, if a man commits adultery with another man's wife, with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress are to be put to death. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees wanted to find an excuse to arrest Jesus, and so they made him face a difficult situation. At this, Jesus suddenly started to write something on the ground with his hands, and this was in order to calm down the people who had stones in their hands. The laws of Moses stated that anyone who had committed adultery was to be stoned to death, and this went against Jesus' teaching. So this could easily have turned away Jesus from the people. However, Jesus managed to solve this. After writing something on the ground, Jesus addressed the crowd. Jesus asked whether anyone there was without sin. At this, they slowly dropped their stones and left. After this, Jesus forgave the woman. Fifth point, St. John thoroughly recorded the debate Jesus had with the Jews about freedom. Despite failing every time, they tried to find a fault in Jesus. The Sanhedrin assembly continuously worked hard to find any excuse to arrest him. And this time, they opened a debate about Jesus as the light and freedom. To this, Jesus told them that he did not belong in the world. In other words, Jesus taught that if they did not believe in Jesus, whom God sent, they could not enter the kingdom of heaven. They continued to debate about freedom, and to them, Jesus said that they were the sons of Satan. They replied that they were the chosen people by God. Although the members of the Sanhedrin assembly spoke to Jesus face to face, they still had no faith. They were so certain about their logic and their understanding that they ultimately accused Jesus of blasphemy. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life 365 days a year I'm so glad you have it you will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the spirit on you as you use this app